Let's take a quick look at creating tables in Slides and Draw. They both work the same, both have the same features. In this case, I'm in Google Slides, but this would work the same in Google Draw. First thing we need to do is insert a table. So we'll go up to our table menu, insert a table, and it looks pretty familiar from here. We just pick number of rows and columns that we want. Click there. So I just did four rows and three columns. Now, once we put it on the page, we can move it around by moving onto the blue, the uh, solid blue border around it. And as soon as I see the four arrow tool, I can click and drag. Now you can't move it in from the middle. You have to go onto the border. And then you'll see that on each border, there are the three dots on the edges. And when I roll over those, I get a two arrow tool. And that just means that I can stretch my table out on that one. And when I move into the one dot on each corner, that turns into a diagonal two arrow tool. And that means I can move two sides at once if you want to stretch that out a little bit more. Again, away from the dots on the border to move it, on the dots to resize it. Okay, once I've got my table set up, what you'll notice is as, or I hope you noticed as I was resizing that, that all the cell cell sizes grow or shrink proportionately with each other and you don't have to worry about one row being a lot bigger than the others like some web-based table editors so let's just go ahead and add some text in here let's say we're going to do a little table we're doing a report on china and we want to organize our information so i'll come in here and i can type in some text once i've done that i can format it just like any other text I've got. So let's maybe do that one. And I can make it real big. I can, again, change the color. Now you notice that there aren't a lot of text tools here. But in this case, my screen is smaller. So I just click the More button. And there's the rest of my tools. So let's go blue. That would look pretty good. Now, let's just say we want that to be our header row. And it doesn't look very good to have all those uh, three cells in there. We can actually merge cells in Draw and Slides. So you notice I've selected all three cells. Then I'm going to right click on those cells and just click Merge on that one. There we go. Now I've got all three merged. Let's go ahead and align that. And let's take a look at our alignment options. And notice that we uh, that's under the Alignment button. So we have the usual left, center, right aligned and, and uh, justified on both sides. Let's do centered on this one. The other one you'll notice though on this one is where you want it to sit on the uh, vertical line of the cell. In this case, it usually starts on the top, but let's go ahead and say we want this one to be on the bottom. And then just to show you what that looks like, no matter how we move this, it will always be aligned on the bottom of that cell. Okay, so there's one thing we can do. The other thing that you can do is, I don't know if you noticed as I was doing that, but we can resize rows and columns as we want to. You just slide over one of the um, borders or the in between the cells, and then you'll get this different cursor, and you just move that over this way, and you can move those if you want to. So we just created a little bit bigger area here on our far left column. Now, we can merge vertical cells as well as horizontal. Just select them and go merge. And then what could we do on this one? Well, maybe we want to put a map in there. So I've got a map over here on another slide or another tab that I've created. And here's the way I really like to um, put images in. You just grab them. And then notice I went back to my tab and I'm going to drop. Now this could be pretty big. I'll probably have to resize this when it comes in. So we'll just resize that until it fits inside that cell. One thing you have to remember is when you're, when you're working with graphics on uh, Google t table or on tables and draw and slides is that it doesn't insert them into the cell. We're just kind of laying it on top of that cell right there. But it'll still look fine as we do this. Now what if we want to uh, start adding into some of the background of this? Well, we just use our regular old tools up here. So if I want that to be kind of a light blue background behind the word China, I can click there. And maybe I think it would look good if this was 
uh, black behind the map just to make it really stand out. So I can come up here and I'll make that table be black and it just kind of makes everything stand out. Then I can just type in my text in here. Um, but I can also alternate the color of different slides. So I can come in this one and I'll make the fill color be kind of a yellow. Maybe I just want every other one be a little bit of a yellow like that. So you can see that I can do some pretty cool stuff with this on that. And then I'll make this one be a green. So we're just alternating our colors a little bit on that. We can type in our text. You can have some pretty nice looking things. Now, one last thing that we can do that you can't do on almost, I don't know of any other table editor that lets you do this. This is uh, one of the more powerful options in this, is that we can change the border by cell. Each cell can have a different border. So if I click in here, I can actually come up here and say, oops, uh, the, the border is always the line around it. So I can say, hey, I want that to be dark blue. And because this is my heading, I want to have a pretty thick line around that. So I can come around there like that and match that. And then maybe I say, well, on these cells right here, I don't really like that black. I kind of, I think I'll do more of a gray line. So again, line, pen, so click on that and kind of gray those out. And then you go, oops. I've messed that up. So sometimes you have to come back and um, you have to tweak them just a little bit to get it the way you want to. You might have to do back and forth. But there you go. You can have some pretty nice slides or uh, pretty nice tables in draw and slides. Much more than uh, almost any other program I've ever worked with.